because it got to, it was, I had reached the threshold and I don't have the money available for, <laughs> for the professional or premium version of Bandicam. Yeah, this is Five Nights at Candy's. I'll go ahead and record over the phone guy again. Because... You have... I want y'all to be able to hear it in this... New way, message. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi? Uh, junior manager here. Uh, so you're in a new security guard, right? Yeah. It's it's great to finally have someone qualified for the job, you know. <laughs> uh, we had to, like, share the shift because, you know, someone has to be here during the night. Uh, but, but with you, uh, now we have more energy to be here during the day. Uh, you see, we're probably going to be a lot busier from now on. Um, you may have heard about the place called Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, right? Uh, yeah, they got shut down yesterday. I don't know why, though. Uh, probably something like uh, tax fraud or such, you know. Uh, I never really liked that place. I always had a bad feeling about it, you know. Uh, their pizzas weren't even that good. Uh, anyway, I think you're gonna fit in really well here. The staff are really nice. Uh, we make sure to help each other out on everything. Like, uh, when, when we close late in the evening, we all make sure that the floors and tables are probably cleaned and all the dishes has been washed before we get off of the day. Uh, now, in order to save power, of course, all the lights will at night be turned off. But don't worry, we have a desk lamp in the office that you can use. If you open up the maintenance panel, you'll be able to view the restaurant through the security cameras. And the cameras all have a neat feature, which is night vision mode. These cameras were the cheapest we could get, so the night vision isn't that accurate, but it does retain the colors, which is good, I guess. Um, you can toggle the night vision by activating the camera you're already on. And uh, by the way, we have a security feature in the restaurant that limits how much power can be used after hours. Uh, this is mainly so that our electricity bill doesn't skyrocket during a night if somebody forgot to turn off something somewhere, you know. Now, um, yeah, your office is also sense. the information area, which you can tell because of the window counter in front of you. Uh, there should be a button underneath the desk too. This is for the security door in front of your window. Uh, to your left and right are also two doors. These doors are, um, uh, a, a little stupid. Um, you see, they require power to be closed. Um, I think it was something about some computer or somewhere always checking if they're closed or not. Or maybe it was a security feature, you know, in case the place goes dark. Uh, like, if there was a power outage, you know, you, you would be stuck here, but mm -hmm. the doors open up automatically if that happens. Um, all three doors are power driven, so basically don't use too much power, otherwise the place will shut off completely. Uh, but, but don't worry, as I said, the doors will open up if that happens, so you won't be trapped. Yeah, that kind of uh, I, I think that was all for now. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck on your first night here. Uh, don't fall asleep, and have a good night. Like, the, um, doors having to be power, having to be shut with electricity, that kind of did get me curious in Five Nights at Freddy's, because, like, why would you want the doors to require power to be shut? But it makes sense, so that if, if there's a power outage or anything, you, you won't be stuck in there. Because if you were stuck in there, you'd go crazy. And not to mention, I can't see any food in here. Like, this is obviously just a prop. And this coffee cup looks empty. And I don't see a phone. Um, I mean, I guess this is some kind of answering machine. I mean, I guess you could email someone because but this looks like a dinosaur computer so it probably requires power to work so yeah you'd definitely be stuck trapped forever but I'm hoping that this doesn't uh, 
I'm hoping I can get through this night with, um, with only, like, five or four minutes left. I mean, I've got, like, um, like, this seems to go with, like, minutes. Because, obviously, you can't have, it, it can't possibly, you can't possibly last an hour or, like, six whole hours of playing a game. if there's any action going on. Yep, they're gone. There's candy. And Cindy. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed watching Mark go crazy playing this game. I don't need to shut that. And I imagine since their eyes glow, I can see I would be able to see them through this. I don't think they come through that door though. Uh, there's someone at my door. Yep, yep, I can see. Them. Andy. Like, I know that was Cindy. Oh, you're already gone. There's Candy. Oh, and Cindy went back to her stage. His nights last so long. Seem to last longer than Five Nights at Freddy's. I am one more minute. Nobly, it's not two more minutes. I guess I just have to, like, look for them peering into the door. So far. Basically, this is this is going a little bit smoother than it was earlier because I remember it used to be like a glitch, like right here where my cursor is. But yeah, it's pretty much almost over. But if I can make it to where it, it does the um, winning sequence then that'd be nice and there it is Beat the first night, so i guess i shouldn't spend my first minute talking but thank y'all for watching um, and i will play more of this so, uh,